Well, the Green Bay Packers pick up their first win of the season, a 16-10 victory against the Indianapolis Colts. I'm Dominique Yates. Joining me is longtime columnist Pete Doherty. Pete, there's several things that you can run through with this game. Obviously, Malik Willis stepped up and had a career-high passing performance. The defense had three takeaways once again. Just big picture, this team gutted out a big win. Just what were your impressions of it? You know, tough to win games in this league with a backup quarterback. So if you can do it, it helps the cause a lot, especially if, you know, with them having lost last week. If he's got to play again next week, if they had opened 0-3, that's that's tough, you know, tough for making the playoffs. I mean, it can be done, but it's, you know, you're in a hole. Uh, just a, It just struck me watching, especially that first half and even the full game, a really good combination of great uh, game planning and play calling and a quarterback who's only been here three weeks handling himself with poise and playing really good football for for the circumstances. Um, if I was the Packers, I'd be feeling really good about life right now. What can you say about the run game? I mean, everyone in the building knew that the Packers were going to run the ball. Josh Jacobs had 32 carries, but the way he ran the ball, Emmanuel Wilson, Marshawn Lloyd went healthy. The offensive line also creating some of those run gaps. Again, very impressive that this team was able to do exactly what it wanted to do running the football. Yeah, and like you said, I mean, it's really hard to run it when they know you're going to run it. And they still did. Now, in the second half, it got tougher because they, Indianapolis finally went to, I mean, they were playing base defense no matter the personnel. Uh, I mean, there were times I counted nine guys in the box. I mean, so, you, you know, they finally did get a, a better handle on it. Um, but they, they, the Packers just did a bunch of different things. You know, they had receivers lining up in the backfield, uh, tight ends lining up in the backfield, a lot of motion, a lot of, you know, guys going one way and faking the run that way and going the other way, which, um, a lot of things going on for that quarterback to handle. And, uh, you know, I think they called only one timeout because things were, uh, you know, a little awry. So, um, yeah, I'll be really curious to see, I think, you know, kind of assuming one more week of this, you know, I, it's what it sounds like. Uh, really curious to see now how they'll adjust because Tennessee, all, one, knows this guy, yeah. and two, will have this game film to go on. I'll be curious to see how uh, LaFleur – opens things up, changes things, however, however, whatever he might do to give Tennessee some looks that they're not expecting. And then as far as the defense, they had seven interceptions as a whole last season. They already have five through the first two games. Xavier McKinney has two through these first two games as well. Guys are really stepping up to the challenge. Obviously, not a finished product defensively, but through these first couple of games, at least from week one to week two, making some improvement. Yeah, and it's hard. You know, they're playing these that's two games now with these quarterbacks who can really run, but also you know our strong arm guys. Uh, the one thing with the guy today was, you know, the talent there is just dripping off him. Um, but he's really young. He only played in a handful of games last year before he got hurt, and both his interceptions were just bad plays. And th that was big because, you know, the, the Colts had their chances. They had some third down drop passes, and those interceptions were huge. One was, you know, definitely towards the Packers end. I don't think it was red zone, but it was getting pretty close. Um, so they, they did. Uh, Richardson gave them just enough chances to, so the Colts never really got their momentum going. Um, but he is a super talented guy, and you know there's a really good chance he's going to be a problem in the future. The Packers improved to 1-1 one one on the season after winning this game on Sunday against the Colts. Up next and next weekend, they're heading to Nashville to take on Malik's former team, the Tennessee Titans. For Pete, I'm Dominique reporting from Lambeau Field.